Elias, the owner of Garden City, New York. I'm getting ready for my freshwater 2015 season. Primarily a saltwater angler or a new freshwater angler altogether, this video is made for you. Basically, after the ice out, the water temperature was still in the 40 degree range, and all the fish are still really lethargic. By far the most effective way to catch fish after ice out and before the water temperatures get near 50 degrees is to fish with live bait. Live shiners are what we use here in the Northeast, but any other live bait in your region that works, that's definitely the way to go. Um, this type of fishing, it's as simple as it gets, and what I'm fishing with here is a rig you've seen when you probably just started fishing, and I'm reintroducing it to you now that it's time to, to break it out again. So what I have here is a medium heavy, fast action rod. It's a cast king rod for an 8 to 15 pound test. I've got a Bikuda 2000 Blackhawk series reel on it. And I've got it spooled up with 15 pound cast king braid. After I'm done running my braid through the line, the guides, at any point I'll just tie what's called a stop knot. This stop knot is uh, you can be tied with a piece of monofilament, background line, or just a string. What this is going to do, it's going to prevent this bobber to keep sliding up. So basically your, your whole bait rig will be suspended at a certain depth. So I have a little bead here and a bobber, and I'm going to tie my braided line directly to a small barrel swivel. Any barrel swivel of your choice will do. It doesn't have to be sophisticated or complicated. I'm going to tie 15, uh, 15 pound test, fluorocarbon leader, about three to four feet is fine. I'm going to have a number four Gamagatsu octopus hook. This is a great hook if you're fishing with live shiners. Just one last addition, I'm going to have a split shot, crimp down. This will assist me casting my, my rig out away from the boat. So basically after I rigged up my rod reel, if you do like to use a, a bait casting setup, you can totally use a bait casting setup. That's all your preference. The point is you want to go with a light setup and um, a fast action rod, something enjoyable to fish with this light tackle fishing here. Afterwards, I'm going to go hit my local tackle shop. I'm going to buy my shiners. This is what's called a, a bait pen or basically a killing trap. This will hold two dozen shiners, no problem. Any other small bait will definitely fit in here. And you're also, what's great after you buy your bait, the tackle shop's also going to inform you most likely where the people, other people have been catching fish. So you know what local lake to go hit or what reservoir. You can also check your state's uh, environmental website. They'll definitely have a list of different reservoirs and lakes for you to check out and decide which lake you want to hit for a particular amount, different species. Live bait's great for catching crappie, pike, pickerel, per perch, and uh, bass early in the season, so there's a whole different variety of species to catch, especially if you're new and you just want to go catch fish, not necessarily one particular fish. So after I got my live bait, I'm ready to hit the water. I'm in a new, let's say I'm in a brand new reservoir, I've never been there before. I know some of it's deep, some of it's shallow, but if you have a fish finder on your boat, great, use it. If you don't, I'm going to work along the edges of the lake, look for shallow bays, maybe some submerged timber, and I'm going to set up a no deeper than 10 feet of water. If it's a nice calm day, I'm going to let my boat drift. I'm just basically going to cast out my rig and drift. If it's a little bit rough, as a lot of days are in the springtime, I'll drop anchor from the back of my boat, I'll set up my rods, I'll cast one bait out to the left side, one out to the right, have what's called a spread. And from there, if I don't have a hit in five minutes, I'll try another part of the lake. I'll make a little move. If I start catching fish, I know I did everything right, and I'm staying here all day. 